All right, guys, what's going on? I got my sheep head sitting right here. Now, if you take a look, this one's been bled, this one's been bled, and this one has it. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to show you is the difference between the quality and meat between these two fish. Now, the reason why you want to bleed these is because um, you ever ate fish and you get like a fishy taste or whatnot. I'm going to set the camera up while I'm talking. Well, because of that, it's because usually because the fact you guys didn't treat the fish right. And the reason why we bleed the fish is to improve the quality of the meat. Now I'm going to show you the difference between these two, how much wider this one is than this one compared to this one. Now, when you bleed the fish, you can go ahead and uh, with sheephead or other types of drum. You can do this pretty much all drum fish or sheephead in that nature. Cause he's got this uh, this fin right here, this uh, dorsal fin. There's a little soft spot, as you can see. I already punctured it. You can stick your finger, a pair of pliers, a knife. You stick it in there like so, and you just wiggle it around. It pretty much finds the heart, and they bleed out. And when you bleed them out, you keep them in the water for a little bit so that blood can keep on pumping and pumping and pumping out. That way, they don't get uh, don't get stopped up when you leave them out the water. And after you bleed them, you put them on ice immediately. A nice ice uh, cooler full of ice, fish bag. It's even better to mix your ice with salt water, make a salt water brine. <clears throat> it keeps the fish colder and it surrounds the fish better. But all I had was ice, I didn't put no salt water in there, but that works just fine. Fish is still cold to the touch. Now I'm gonna go flame real quick and show you the, how good the meat looks, you know, how white it is. But if you wanna learn how to flay sheep head, I also got a video, I'll put the link right there. I'm gonna flay this bad boy up real quick. Now guys, look at this. Just look at that white. How white that meat is already. Just from bleeding the fish. Super white. I mean, it makes the fish taste 100 times better. That car coming by. Especially when it comes to like mat your mackerel, your bluefish. You must bleed this fish as well or it's gonna not taste good at all. Not at all. But I bleed every fish I keep that I plan to harvest and eat. I bleed them. Now, look how white that meat is. It's just gorgeous looking meat. Now I'm gonna play the one I didn't bleed and we'll compare the meats to each other. Now you can already tell the different color in the meat. I hope the camera's picking it up. It's a different tint to it and you still got blood all in there. Now, look at that fillet, how much bloody it is. This is a different tint to it. Now I'm going to take the uh, skin off so you can get a better look at it. Yeah. Now just look at that fillet. And uh, look at that fillet. But can you see the quality in meat, the difference between the meat, how much, how the blood's on this one. And this one is just nice and clean, pretty much clear. And you can try to rinse this off, but it's not really going to help too much. That's why you should bleed your fish. Get nice, clean, white meat. So I hope this video helps you guys out. I'm still going to eat this fish, by the way. I'm not going to let it go to waste. I hope this video helps. Oh yeah, and that's what the carcass looks like too. Nice and bloody, look. And this is the carcass of the one that I, that I did bleed. It's not no, not as near as bad at all compared to this one. But I hope this video helps, guys. 
you like this uh, video, like the channel, like the content, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate everybody watching. Later.